Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Joel Rosen. I am the Adrenal Fatigue Recovery Ninja. And today I wanna to talk to you about, I have Addison's disease, is adrenal fatigue real? So this is a really heavily debated topic in my Facebook group, Dr. Joel Rosen's Art of Adrenal Fatigue Recovery. And I wanna to talk to you about it. Addison's disease, an autoimmune disease, your own immune system is is creating an immune reaction against the tissues or the cells of the adrenal glands, and the adrenal glands are unable to produce enough cortisol to mount a defense response, or to mount an adequate response for the three main functions that the adrenals do. It balances, first and foremost, our mineral and our, and our electrolyte concentration in our body, our fluid balance, rather, and how well we're able to balance our electrolytes and our minerals. Very, very important for maintaining energy in the body. Number two, inflammation. They balance inflammation and they settle inflammation. And when we're in a world of stress and there's a lot of inflammation sources in the environment, the adrenals are overwhelmed. And then lastly, to be able to make energy um, for, for the daily um, requirement. So if I need blood glucose or I need some instant access in adrenaline or neurotransmitters to make a fight or flight response, the adrenals do this. And when we have an immune reactivity against our own adrenal glands, it's called Addison's disease. Adrenal fatigue, rather, is more of a descriptive term to describe what we feel is happening to the adrenals. The adrenals are exhausted, they're burnt out, they're not mounting a response anymore, they're fatigued and we're tired and we can't handle our stressors and we feel exhausted and we don't do well with changing of our requirements for regulating inflammation and energy and, and our electrolyte balance. So is adrenal fatigue real? Well, let's talk about it like this. Addison's disease is one of the main differences between what adrenal fatigue is describing and what Addison's disease actually is. So let me explain that. When we do a test and we think that the adrenals are exhausted and tired, we do what's called an ACTH test. An ACH, uh, ACTH is basically a hormone that's released by the pituitary that stimulates the adrenal glands to make cortisol. If cortisol is not released, then that's called Addison's disease, and that is an autoimmune phenomena. However, if the adrenals do mount a response, albeit a, a, a weakened response or a response that's not necessarily looked at in terms of the different times of the day, nor is it looked at in terms of does the response that it does mount, does it work properly, is the liver and the gut health working properly, uh, is the receptor sites working properly, is the actual pituitary releasing the hormone for it to release even if it is releasing. Lots of problems to distinguish between if it's an actual autoimmune disease called Addison's disease where it's not going to amount to response whatsoever or adrenal uh, fatigue, and we'll give it a different name here in a second, where it does mount a response, just not such a great one, and it does impact the way that we handle our day-to-day -day stressors. So I would say absolutely, the adrenal fatigue phenomena is very, very real, as long as we define what that fatigue phenomena is. Potentially the pituitary is overwhelmed from inflammation and cytokines and insulin resistance or, or insulin blood sugar handling, even head traumas. That pituitary is bewildered and it can't mount a response to release enough ACTH itself. Or number two, it does, but then the adrenal glands just are devoid of the raw materials to make the nutrients effectively. Or the, the receptors aren't working as effectively, so when they do get released, because they've been so high for so long, the receptors are down-regulated and not responding. Or the cortisol, which is the free fraction of the hormone that's used for activity, is converted into cortisone, an inactive form. Or there's a, a cellular hypothyroid problem and your reverse T3 is too high and you're not getting the active thyroid hormone into the cell and therefore you can't get the cortisol, free cortisol into the cell. Or maybe your body's doing another defense mechanism and it's producing a lot of um, cortisol binding globulin and there's not a lot of free fraction around. Suffice it to say, there's a lot of things that can go wrong. The HPA axis dysfunction, I feel, is a limited term also just because of everything we just told you. 
that doesn't necessarily involve the HPA axis, the liver and the receptor sites and the gut health and the proper release of the pituitary. All that stuff doesn't require all that. So there's just, well, I guess the pituitary part does, right? But the HPA axis is when the function of the axis gets off balance and then you have improper timing. So your circadian rhythm is off. You feel tired when you should feel, feel ready to go and you feel you know, ready to go when you should be tired. That's a circadian rhythm problem as well. So I would absolutely 100% that Addison's disease and adrenal fatigue are basically a part of a continuum. And if Addison's may be further down the road in terms of the immune system has caused the gland to not produce the hormone. Whereas the adrenal fatigue or the HPA axis dysfunction or all those other things that we said were going wrong, maybe that person doesn't have the genetic susceptibility to express an autoimmunity. So they may never get down that line, but they have just as much damage, doctors and patients alike. They have just as much damage, if not more, in terms of how their stress response is working to stress. Are they balancing their minerals and regulating their fluid levels? Are they able to settle down inflammation? Are they able to make energy for the rest of the day? Are they able to provide nutrients for cells to provide energy? And it has its hand in every single stressor, cookie jar, so to speak. And whether you have Addison's disease or not, or you have an adrenal fatigue expression, it's all having to do with the stressors and the impact that that's placing on your body. So I hope that answers your questions. I'm going to post this in my Facebook group. I'm going to post it on YouTube. Make sure you like my videos. Give me a reply, a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Go check out my free um, information Facebook page where it's called Dr. Joel Rosen's Adrenal Fatigue Recovery or the Art of Adrenal Fatigue Recovery. And my goal is to wake you up from your adrenal fatigue nightmare. My name is Dr. Joel Rosen. I am the Adrenal Fatigue Recovery Ninja, and I look forward to ending your adrenal fatigue nightmare. Thank you so much.